we are so pleased to be joined on the phone now by the head coach of the UTSA Roadrunners. It is Larry Coker. Coach Coker, how are you? I'm doing fine. Good to be with you. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, obviously, this is your bye week. What does a bye week look like for Larry Coker? Well, I think it depends on how, where you are. Obviously, we're really uh, kind of a banged-up football team, so this is going to use this for us to get better as, uh, for some of our young players and also to get healthy for the next football game. But, and that, I think it varies. Yeah. You know, if you're, if you're playing really well, I think uh, you hate to sit by it. You just like to keep playing. <laughs> yeah, I imagine, but uh, this is probably coming at a, at a nice time. You guys are, uh, as you mentioned, pretty banged up. I want to go back to when you, when you first came to UTSA. Uh, you know, a, a new program, mm-hmm. not just like a young program, but a brand new program. Right. Um, I guess my biggest question is why UTSA? What drew you to the building process at UTSA? Well, I had a big thing. You had the opportunity to play in, in the Alamo Dome was a huge plus for us. Uh, we got a million people. We got great football in the state of Texas. And no division one team in the state of Texas. And, you know, we didn't think your athletic director gave us great leadership. We called our our president. So I just thought there were a lot of plus things here. We had a lot to do. Obviously, we didn't have any facilities. And uh, as you said, it was a uh, totally new program. So it was starting fresh, and I didn't get excited. Absolutely. Uh, this is obviously – with the building of a program, one of the most important things is recruiting. And you're a guy who's had a lot of experience across the nation. Uh, what, When you're starting a program like UTSA, are there any advantages or disadvantages that UTSA has on the recruiting uh, trail that maybe other teams in CUSA like Rice or Louisiana Tech don't have? Well, I don't know if there are any advantages to it. I think the one thing advantage we do have, we are in the state of Texas, which is a great recruiting area, obviously, but I think the thing uh, that uh, is the positive is young players feel like they can come in, have a chance to play, play early, which is true. So I think there are some certain advantages there, but for the most part, you know, you're new. Uh, most players want to go to an established program. Yeah, that's 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 one thing that y- I guess you can't walk into a recruit's house and say, look at the history that we have, because cause you don't really have <laughs> any history. <laughs> yeah, look, let's look at our championship trophies, my championship ring here. Yeah, no, that, that doesn't work, because you don't have it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, a- a- absolutely. We're talking mm-hmm. uh, with Larry Coker, the head coach of the UTSA Roadrunners here on DCTF Live. Join the conversation at hashtag DCTF Live. Coach, we've heard from, from UTSA fans Obviously, this is not the start that you had envisioned. Uh, we hear frustration from UTSA fans. From your perspective, from the coach's perspective, what's your level of frustration so far this year? Well, I'm so disappointed more than frustration because, you know, I'm disappointed in the injuries. And, uh, you know, we've lost three games by 10 points or less. And, you know, again, again it's just, uh, this is football. And, uh, obviously, it's not the way we've drawn it up. But, again, this is a year for us. We've had two classes. We recruit back-to-back, which is a, uh, they're allowed to do that because of the new program. They're all gone after last year. But this is all a new group. They have a lot of young players. The team we just played, they have a, just a ton of uh, redshirt seniors, redshirt juniors. So we're playing some older players. And again, I don't think anybody wants to hear excuses for not doing well. But again, uh, we have to realize where we are. We've got to keep playing and uh, keep coaching. Speaking of injuries, one of the key injuries you guys have suffered was losing your quarterback, Blake Bogan shoots. There's not a whole lot of programs in, in the nation that can lose your starting quarterback uh, and, and keep on trucking. Do you know, uh, obviously with the bye week coming up, that will help him, but do you know the status of Blake Bogan shoots going forward? Well, that's going to be some time. I hope we're getting back uh, next week, but uh, I don't, uh, I don't uh, feel real confident about that now. We're just uh, putting in the hands of the trainers and the doctors, and they're going to give us the go-ahead when, uh, when he's healthy and ready to play, then uh, we'll move forward. But, but, again, we understand that. You know, the, the, the protocols you have now are, are good. They're really good. They're much better than, than they used to be as far as making sure kids are healthy. We're talking with Larry Coker, the head coach at UTSA here on DCTF Live. Uh, coach, how long does the new program, the idea that, oh, we're a new program, so this is how it's supposed to be, for, for you, what is the timeline of getting this program up to the level to winning and competing in, in Conference USA for, for titles? Well, you know, I want to do it yesterday. That's what most coaches do, but <laughs> but it is a, it is a process, and we understand that, and uh, I hope our fans understand that. And, you know, again, we just have to make sure and, and uh, keep our head on straight and keep uh, focusing on the process that we have and head toward the finish line. But it's going to take some time, and we know that. It, it is going to take time. This is a unique situation down there at, at UTSA. One of the more unique players you guys have is, is your leading rusher this year, Jav- Jarvion Williams. 
Uh, how important is a guy like that, a, a local kid uh, who comes in and starts making noise, uh, you know, as a junior? How important is a guy like that to the future of your program going forward? Well, we want to try to do a good job of recruiting Texas, and especially we're, we're from San Antonio. Well, over 30 of our players are from this area. And Darvion Williams is an outstanding football player, a good young man, tough. Uh, Darvion can play from any place I've been. And uh, I think it's great that the young man from uh, from Judson High School, a local high school here in the city, uh, has gone out and he's doing well. And, again, it says a lot for recruiting. It says a lot for, for him. And I think it makes a statement to the coaches here in the area and also to, uh, to the players here in the area. You've had a lot of experience uh, across the nation, be it you know coaching high school in Oklahoma, then, then going to Oklahoma, Tulsa, uh, Ohio State, Miami. But you'd never, before coming to UTSA, you'd never had any experience in Texas. As a coach, what have you learned a- about being a coach in Texas just in your, in your years there at UTSA? Well, I've recruited Texas before, but I would say that Texas, the football in Texas is very important to the, to the, uh, to the, uh, to the fans. It's very important to the, to the uh, kids. It's very important to the school systems. And, you know, the main thing in Texas, I think, is doing it the right way. There are good football players here, and I think for sure, for sure, I think if we do it the right way, we'll have good, good teams here. But I think that's a big thing in Texas. Just realize that there's really good football here, and they care about it in Texas. They certainly do. That's why we kind of do the show they I, I, we don't know if we could do a, a daily live show about football in any other any state, other state. no in, way in, in, in the union one question we got uh, uh i asked for some questions on twitter uh and one of them we got was about uh, the offensive line the, the offensive line ha- has been up and down this year what have been the main issues uh, along the offensive front for you guys well we got some kids hard to one we're not very deep there anyway and you lose a couple of starters and we really get to stand in a hurry but uh, Mike Marson came in this year. This is his first year with us, uh, coaching the offensive line. Outstanding football coach was at Ole Miss in and, and Arkansas, and uh, we coached him at Oklahoma State. And he's done a great job with these guys and recruiting them extremely well. So, you know, again, the offensive line, that, I mean, that is a tough position to play. If you can run fast and catch the ball, you can play wide receiver. Mm-hmm. And the offensive line is uh, very, very, uh, very tough to play. I know we got beat by a very good physical defensive line from, uh, from, uh, the team we played last week. And, uh, I think uh, that uh, that's uh, that's what speaks for itself if you watch the film. You guys have scheduled perhaps the toughest non-conference schedule in the nation. Uh, you ran through Arizona, Kansas State, Oklahoma State, and Colorado State. Obviously, there's a few different people who have input into who you play in non-conference. But from your perspective, why play such a tough non-conference schedule? Well, it, it is too tough. Again, for where we are, again, sometimes... Uh, People have a misconception about us, and it's hard to even schedule sometimes. And I think sometimes uh, financially it's helpful, obviously. But I think the big thing is, again, is that uh, we've got to play. Uh, we've, got, we've got to be more reasonable with our schedule. And that's, that's, that comes to my responsibility also. And, and uh, you know, playing a tough schedule, it's, uh, uh, we play pretty competitively for a while. But, again, it kind of wears on you after a while. You get the injuries, and now you're not, not competitive anymore. So that's the thing concerned about the schedule we play. But you're right, it is a, if not the toughest, but certainly one of the toughest schedules in the country for a program. Yeah, we've only been in Division One a few years. We're talking with Larry Coker, the head coach at UTSA here on DCTF Live. And, and Coach, you've been in the recruiting game. I don't mean to, to date you here, uh, but you've been <laughs> in the recruiting game for more than 40 years, nearly 45 years. From your perspective, how have you seen the game change? Well, I mean, the game changed from us so much because you know, going from the, uh, the no huddle offenses to the, the – the tempo stuff where you're just uh, at the line of scrimmage. And, and uh, of course, the passing game has changed so much, you know, as far as lots of people put, able to throw the football and spread offenses. And I think that's a that big change to me just to see the offensive style of play. It has changed. And, and Coach, we'll, we'll let you go after one more question. I think that one of the advantages for you living in San Antonio is that you live in maybe one of the best food cities <laughs> in America. <laughs> So for you on a bye week when you're you know when when you're when you're going out and you're going out for dinner, uh, what's your go to down there in, in in San Antonio? Well, I tell you, you know, there's just a, I have to mention one. There's just a ton of uh, the uh, the Mexican restaurants here in the city, and I like the uh, the fish. In fact, tomorrow night, uh, what I call date night, we'll go out. My wife and I will go out and have a play have a fish dinner. May go, may go tomorrow night and go have uh, have some uh, Mexican food. It's, mm. it's a tough call. It is. But you're right. Great food. Great food here in the city. That, to me, that's your best recruiting tool. Just say, guys, <laughs> look at all these great Mexican food restaurants down the street. 
Uh, not well, that it is you, a great recruiting tool. Not that you need recruiting advice from me, but <laughs> this is Larry, wait, Larry Coker, the head coach at UTSA. Follow him on Twitter at Larry Coker. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. I uh, appreciate it, man. Thank you.